My first introduction to Queen was through my older brother, actually. He was a big fan and had lots of their cassette tapes at the time, uh, which says something about my age. And we used to sit down and listen to the albums and he'd kind of make me learn the words to all of the songs. Um, so it was through that that I was introduced to Queen, but then also, I think like many other people of my generation, watching Wayne's World, seeing Mike Myers' character and the others in that film head bang to Bohemian Rhapsody was quite an iconic moment. Every time I listen to Bohemian Rhapsody, it's very difficult not to do that. The music, to me, I think a celebration of life. It's, uh, it's joyous and it's irreverent and unashamed. You know, they weren't a band necessarily that were critically acclaimed at the time when their music was released and maybe they weren't seen as being as cool as other bands at the time but they were so un unashamed and confident and they had the, the strength of their convictions to really express themselves like no other band. They were completely unique in that sense. Um, I think Queen are still loved so much because um, because they're not too specific to a time or a place or a generation. They're not bothered about um, containing themselves with one specific genre, they cover everything. They're influenced by opera, by musical theater, by disco, by heavy rock, and you hear it all in their music, and so there's always something to keep you interested. But also beyond that, you know, there's a celebration about their music. There's a kind of a, a lust for life in their music, uh, and you can find something to soundtrack any moment in your in your day. Brian May's character is quite a unique individual. He's um, really is. If, if if you don't know this, he's he's uh, as well as being like one of the greatest guitarists that's ever lived, and a real virtuoso. He is also has a PhD in astrophysics, specialising in interplanetary dust. He is an expert on stereoscopic photography, 3D photography. He uh, is an animal rights activist. He has so many facets to his, to his character and his personality. He's a great eccentric, I think, and uh, a real Renaissance man. He's incredibly intelligent, has a meticulous attention to detail, and a great mind, but, uh, but also a very, a very gentle, kind of warm, loving human being. I think one of the hardest challenges in this film was to try and live up to the legendary status of of, of Brian May, but also of, of the music. It's just, it's loved by so many. And uh, you really feel that you, you just want to do that justice. You don't want to let, let people down. You don't want to let the fans down. You know, I worked hard on this film than I've worked on anything because of that, because you do feel that responsibility. Yeah, just the amount of hours that went into voice, movement, playing the guitar, that was a huge challenge for me. The, the, probably the biggest challenge, I think. Really, one of the greatest things about doing this film is meeting the people who shared this journey. Particularly the four of us in the band, like we're really like family now, really tight. We've got something of uh, the camaraderie, I think, that Queen had. But, and, and the crew as well, meeting all of those guys. And we all felt this sense of, sense of celebration during the film that, that we, were a we were so privileged to be able to tell this story.